Welcome back to Cooking with Ale. My name is Alessandra and today we're gonna cook together a risotto ai funghi or risotto with mushrooms. For this recipe we will need vegetables for our broth, rice, an onion, mushrooms, uh, parmigiano cheese, butter and olive oil. Let's start by cutting our vegetables in big chunks like this Today I'm using carrots, uh, celery, onions and cherry tomatoes but of course if you like different vegetables uh, you can use them as well I wouldn't recommend using um, potatoes because uh, they release too much starch in the water but everything else is okay. Once you have all your vegetables chopped up you put them in 2 liters of water and you turn on the stove. You will have to cook it for one hour. Meanwhile, we take our mushrooms and we cut off the stem and peel the cap. It doesn't need to be perfect. We will use uh, the peels and the stems uh, in the broth to give it more flavor. Of course, if you don't have time, uh, you can, instead of making the broth um, from scratch, you can use a vegetable stock. In that case, uh, you don't really need to uh, do this step, you can skip it. When we add the peels and the stems from the mushrooms to the water, we also add uh, some uh, salt. The broth is what will give the risotto its flavor after all. So it's very important that it has the right amount of salt. While our broth simmers on the stove, we can start cutting our mushrooms. Today I'm using champignon mushrooms but you can use any kind of mushrooms you like. You can even mix different types of mushrooms together. We also need to cut an onion in small pieces. Risotto is a dish that originated from a northern Italian region uh, called Veneto, which is where I'm from, and then spread in the whole northern part of Italy. But nowadays it's just a common Italian dish throughout the whole uh, country. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> if you want to, I just, I forgot about this actually, but if you want to avoid crying while cutting onions, just wash it under cold water before cutting it. By now our broth should be ready, so we have everything prepared to cook our actual risotto. Before actually starting, let's check on our broth. Always taste test before doing anything to check if there's enough uh, salt. Perfect. Of course, before using it, we need to filter our broth. So we take out all the vegetables and we filter the smaller bits. Now we really have everything ready. So we can start cooking our rice. We turn on the stove and we add a little bit of oil in the pan. When the oil is hot, we turn down the gas a little bit, we don't want to burn anything. 
and we add our onion. Keep stirring for a little bit and then we can add our mushrooms. The mushrooms don't need to be completely cooked because when we add the rice then we start a slow cooking process and the mushrooms will have time to cook properly. After a couple of minutes we add our rice and we need to toast it in the pan. So you keep stirring and cook it again for a couple of minutes. Today I'm using arborio rice, but there are different uh, kinds of rice you can use for risotto and I'll leave the names in the description. Now that we toasted the rice, we move the pan to the smallest uh, stove top on the lowest setting. Then we start adding our broth. Let's stir. And now the slow cooking process of the rice begins. You will have to wait until all this broth uh, has been either absorbed or has evaporated and then you will keep adding broth and repeating the process. This until the cooking time of the rice is over. For example, this variety takes about 20 minutes to cook. It's actually this cooking method that gives the rice its creamy consistency because the rice while cooking releases a lot of starch and in this case the starch will never leave uh, the pot. Uh, while usually we cook our rice in the water and then uh, we drain the water from the rice, also draining the starch, here the starch remains in the uh, rice. I'm actually cooking this recipe for a friend of mine who came from Denmark to visit me and she wanted me to teach her to cook a nice risotto. But the day I did cook the risotto, she was taking a nap and I didn't want to wake her up, so I just cooked and then I called her and she was pretty upset because <laughs> she didn't get to see the process. So I really hope she's watching and she likes the recipe. <laughs> We're almost there. If you're just um, a few minutes away from the cooking time being of the rice being over, uh, be careful not to add too much broth because it won't have time to uh, properly evaporate. Before turning off the stove, remember to always taste first to check if the rice is actually cooked. I'm sorry if this looks a little bit different, but I actually, <laughs> I'm a disaster. I actually lost uh, the um, footage for this part so I had to shoot it again. So I'll show you now what you have to do once your rice is cooked. You turn off the stove, you get your butter and you put it in. And you also add your cheese and mix it all together. So it will melt and it will add creaminess <laughs> to the risotto. Once you plated it, you can serve it with a little bit of parmesan cheese on the side if someone wants to add a little bit more on top. And this is our Italian risotto ai funghi. Buon appetito! Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, today we made risotto with mushrooms but you can actually make risotto with many different things. For example, in some parts of Italy, people make risotto with uh, strawberries or apples, 
which I personally don't like, but I guess to each their own. So if you want to try your hand at your own personal risotto, please send me the pictures or uh, your Buon Appetito video and I will post them on Instagram.